hello everybody welcome to a very quick YouTube video of game number 10 of undead over explained oh look these are the these are the cheerleaders now on the pitch you get to see four cheerleaders whatever whatever is happening <laughs> my opponent's got the halfling cheerleaders as well brilliant so you always see four cheerleaders of your team. I feel like it'd be better if this was full of 16, honestly. And then like you saw the ones you bought somewhere else. But um, yeah, it's good that we see them somewhere. Because obviously they're a terrible thing to buy, right? Cheerleaders. Nobody wants to buy them on purpose. Wait, did I just not play with this guy? So what happened with this game anyway? The reason this is a very short video is... I played this game and I wasn't paying any attention and um, it was versus halflings who had Morgan Thorg and a chef which is obviously very good and yeah I was playing without a player which I didn't even realise, amazing. Um, so yeah there's not a lot to say about this game to be honest. What I should have done was I should have conceded instantly right because my opponent had Morg. So there's just no point playing Morg, like Morg and two trees. They're just going to kill your team. It doesn't make any sense to play this game, right? Like, because your record doesn't matter, right, in ladder? In ladder, your record doesn't matter. So I should have just instantly conceded. It's not worth getting mummies smashed by Mighty Blow plus two. Or Mighty Blow plus one. Just stupid. So I should, I should have instantly conceded. Um, I did not instantly concede. But I did, I did fail to set this guy up. I don't know why it started him in the end zone, but the game did. Thank you, game. No wonder I struggled. <laughs> and it's just brutally now just get my moons killed. Like, it's... It's absolutely, um... It's just idiotic to play this game for me. Again, nothing. He there was a terrible follow by him, by the way. Terrible follow. Should have stayed here and he'd been protected by guard and stuff. It was an awful follow. Instead, it was just a three plus to hit him on two dice with a mummy. Which I stubble scold. <laughs> <laughs> so I've already used two re-rolls and uh, only stunned him. So you know at this point I really should have conceded. I can't stress this enough how much I should have conceded because even if I win so what right? Like, it just doesn't matter. Which, yes, it's a problem with ladder to, you know, as a competitive thing. It's a competitive environment is that your record doesn't matter until it matters. So, you know, just much like a league, people like to play these eternal leagues. And um, that's one of the things about leagues is your record doesn't matter until it matters. And as it happens, my opponent is out of rerolls on turn two. And it wasn't Morg that killed somebody, it was a halfling. It was a halfling one dice into death nor region. On my Garda. Which is pretty stupid, isn't it? And then at this point I was so tilted that I just conceded. Um, so there you go, not the best. Not the best gameplay you've ever seen. Um, but I should have conceded earlier because there's no winning versus Morg, right? Like, it, it just... The, the the result didn't matter. And I was paying no attention to the game. Like, I wasn't in a good frame of mind at the start of the game. I paid no attention to the game. That's why I didn't notice that was a player down. And, uh, yeah, there you go. We can all play terribly. And But even, you know, even if I'd... Uh, even if I had been trying, if I'd been fully locked in, the best player would have just been to concede so that Morgan didn't kill any mummies. 
So there you go. Um, sad but true. That's how you deal with halflings. <laughs> Just concede at the sight of Morg. And thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>